Serena Williams takes a 24-0 record in major events this year Ready? to the line. And the biggest weapon in all of sports will start us off inside Arthur Ashe Stadium. The chase for history continues. A 2015 Grand Slam on the line for Williams against fellow American Madison Keys. So the big thing for me early on is the exuberance of Madison Keys. When players get tight, so certain things happen. And for me, Madison overplays her shot. So important for her to not do that early on. There's renewed poise and maturation of Madison Keys that we have seen, particularly under Lindsay Davenport's tutelage. The nerves that are often were often exhibited early in previous years. She settled herself. She came into this U.S. Open saying she feels as if now she does belong. And she watches Serena's first day skip past. She felt that when she came to her home major that there was a lot of pressure to perform, a lot of talk about her future and how she was maybe the face of tennis going forward post Serena Williams career. I put pressure on Madison. She said she didn't feel as if she handled it well. 2015, a different story. reason for Williams to put the early pressure on. Well, early on at the Australian Opus, Patrick Moritaglu, Serena Williams' coach sitting there, looks on. The most important thing for both players, because they know how well each of them serve, must hold serve early. Yeah. Uh, a couple of aces, and Serena, as is her want, will take the long walk around the far post. Uh, give her Madison Keys a little time to think about what she just watched as a 119 mile per hour blast secures the opening game. Well, again, as I said, Kevin, it's so important for both of these players now. The pressure squarely on the shoulders of Keys to hold her initial serve. Madison Keys to serve. Madison celebrated her 20th birthday back in February of this year. She was born in Rock Island, Illinois. Makes her home, as we said, in South Florida. Very interesting. And she makes her home now down in the area where Chrissy Everett has Spencer. her academy. And spends a lot of time there in Florida. She also spends a lot of time now in Southern Cal. Exactly. Practicing with Lindsay Davenport and her husband. Interesting that Rock Island, Illinois, actually is just across the river from Davenport, Iowa. Play on words because of the fact that the relationship has grown so close between Keys and the former so U.S. Time. Open champion. It's been a fun sort of relationship to watch blossoming, of course, not at Grand Slams, but Renee, as you know, at WTA events, encore coaching is permissible, and it's fun to hear how Lindsay Davenport approaches that encore coaching. It's not just always X's and O's. You can tell there's a real affinity between the two. Strong return, finding the back of the line. And for Madison Keys, here's a little early Thank pressure. Oh, Madison Keys possesses such a good kick serve as a second serve, but it becomes very predictable. I don't know how much Serena meant that to go that close to the line. Actually just inside the baseline, and then she follows it up, does Keys right. with a nice little response. Not dismayed, and we talked about the maturation process and how she responds to a bit of adversity. Game. 
and she has a hold. So it is Madison Keys who responds in kind. Four minutes into this opening set, one off. So when you look at the stats throughout the year, just at the WTA events, not the Grand Slams, they have different uh, stat keepers. It's IBM at the Grand Slams, but Madison Keys, her serving stats are very, very good, as are Serena's. Serena number one in first service points one. Madison number seven, but not too far away in percentage wise. Aces, Serena leads the pack. Madison is in third place. And there's Lindsay Davenport, former champion here. Lisa Raymond just in the right of the screen, who's also traveling with Madison Keys, who officially retired yesterday. And to the left of the screen was John Leach, who is Lindsay's husband and was a former collegiate player. And I can tell you that return will happen a lot today. 15 -0. Big down the middle of the court, Lindsay is and always has been a proponent of returning big through the middle of the court against the Williams sisters in particular. Something funny in the uh, in the booth. It's a good sign, 15, though. If Lindsay 13. Davenport is loose in the box, that there's not a lot of tension there because she can. Only, you get the sense that there's a little bit of a transfer that it can occur. They obviously wanted to go in this, not feeling the tension of the moment, the pressure not being on Madison to perform today, even with the specter of trying to take down the world's top player. You agree that the coach can have that much influence before the match that it can carry over to a very calm Madison Keys? Oh, very much so. Well, she'll need to stay 13, calm 13. because Williams is starting to find her spots when her serve was struggling in Cincinnati. Serena really had to work herself out of some troubling situations en route to the title. Also saw that in the opening three rounds here with the exception Game. of Dianchenko. Williams. And no problem thus far. Serena's lost three points on serve in two games. Williams Put your nose back in front early North doors. North. Madison Keys has picked up 2015, performing her best at the biggest events. Serving 1 2, opening set. 15 up. When you break down her season thus far, Madison outside of the majors is 13 and 11. But in Grand Slam events, a 14 and 3 record. Showing how far she has come when playing on the biggest stages of this sport. 
And that begs the question, Renee, sometimes because of the magnitude and Sensitive. all the focus on these events, it's easier to get up. Are we going to see Madison Keys be able to translate that into better success throughout the tour? Oh, there's no question that that, that that will come over time. I think the pressure is really built on her after the, the Australian Open run. 13, 15. For Madison Keys, it's a matter of picking the right shot. You can see all the cameras fully focused on the world number one right now. Is there some attention on this match? <laughs> a lot of it's focused right there on that woman. That's the supply of easy power that Madison Keys enjoys that informs her game and has helped produce this quality season. I mean, that's from a long, long way behind the baseline. Just a clean winner. Huge power from Madison Keys. Another, her third winner for her second game. There's a couple of areas, but I'd like to hear your opinion on how close this feels for Serena. Is this the closest she would feel to as if she was playing herself as far as being matched for ground stroke power and I think, pace? I think serving power, there's no doubt. Just like Venus and how well Venus can serve. Madison has a better second serve than Venus, in my opinion, though. Actually, a much better second serve. But Serena has been serving a little patchy over the last three or four weeks. Lisa Raymond. That's definitely one of the areas that we've heard Lindsay Davenport talk about Fifth for Madison. There's no problem with going big, the power and the depth on the return, but instead of trying to blast through the court, she just hits a nice little rolling forehand Finding the open court, not trying to do too much, just enough to pick up her fourth winner. That right there is the type of shot that Madison needs to go back cross court. She tried to go for the big cheap forehand down the line and sometimes like Serena has learned to do through the years, grind a point out every now and again. Fourteen, fifteen. Madison's fitness level is so much better than it was a year ago. And that's often why you choose the wrong shot, because you don't believe you can hang in there athletically, but has a trainer, full-time trainer with her now. Far cry from the earlier round when she struggled Williams early against Maddox Sands. Williams. Time. seed Madison Keys serving for a third time this afternoon. Talked about her success at majors this year. Look at her first 10 trips to Grand Slam events. Not a lot. Not much there as far as results to get excited about. That's why this season the breakout of the semifinal run in Melbourne. Third round Roland Garros quarter finalists in London. And now into the round of 16. She had never gotten past the third round in any of those 10 events prior to 2015. Her stock on the upswing mightily.
15 and Kevin, this match is just looking more and more like the Australian Open semi-final where both women came out serving huge, both winning well into the 80% range of first serves when they're getting them in. Madison Keating is winning 50% of the second serves and Serena 60%. So Obviously, the first serve is, has been devastating so far. Oh. And Keys gets her a hold. Yes, yeah, Serena's done well with her first serve, losing a total of two points, and Keys has done her Three one better. Nine of ten as she evens the tally. I mean, we're talking two huge serves. I watched uh, 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 watched a lot of the men over the last couple of days, and, th and they ripped down a big serve. It's about 124 last night with Murray, I, I noticed, and I thought, that's what Madison Keys has hit already in this match. 124, Serena's at 119. trio of aces and a couple of unreturnables. Williams trying to propel herself forward once more. It's called wide. Really trying to lean in and get some angle, but Madison misses the mark. 30 love for Serena. It seems more dialed in, more focused. Patrick Moratoglu and Serena talking after the match against Maddox Sands. And obviously, her French coach wanted Serena to, to maintain her focus and say, look, you got the win. That was most important. But immediately, Patrick went right back out and spoke to the press and said, look, the matches hinge on Serena. It's really down to her. And it took her a while to shake some nerves, find a way to get back at Maddox Sands, start to play her game. No problem to this point for Serena. Looking mighty from the line. Take your seats quickly, please. Thank you. Little game of catch me if you can between Serena Let Williams and Madison Keys. Okay. 
Williams hold it love, puts her to 4-3. So far it hasn't been a problem for Keys. Her effort from the line, finding her second ace, just one less than Serena, but all in all propelling her very well with only one point lost on her first offering. Crucial that she continues that run, Renee. That's the point I was talking about earlier. That should go cross court. You cannot always go for the big winner if you're Madison Keys. Dial back the power. and has to be careful hitting that kick serve all the time. Serena's now starting to dial in a little on the second serve. Just four of nine today as Keyes went having to go to her second offering. And look at the focus of Williams. And she doesn't Keys need to do anything. She's gifted break point, point and this is crucial. We points. said coming in, Madison can ill afford a hiccup here and she's offered an opening. No joy 15, on the challenge, 15. and it's he double break point. Two challenges made. Okay, Williams. And tightening up, back-to-back -back double faults. Williams to serve for the set. Williams leads by five games to three. Percent. Well, those two back-to-back -back double faults were because Serena pressured Keys on the second serve, came in behind it, and Madison knows that's her go-to second serve and tried to go for too much. Must change it to the forehand sometimes. Good serve from Serena, and Madison probably didn't think she could hit a chip forehand that well, but it opened up the court, and the power she possesses can hit a winner from anywhere. Net for serve. A little late in getting over and Keyes feeling the weight of Williams' shot, which has been far more effective in this match early than it has throughout this tournament, even taking into consideration the match against Diachenko in the opening round. This is a focus, Serena, like we haven't seen this week. Well, everybody around the world feel good. 
because even the greatest miss the easiest of shots. You just have to wonder, was Serena thinking, don't go at Madison. They're pretty good friends. Incredible miss. Now she is human after all. Still in good position to take over the set and the lead. What a way to get to set point. Amazing forehand cross court. That goes to Serena Williams in just 27 minutes. It all hinged on game eight. And Serena's quite the front runner, 39 and one this year when she takes the opening set. Now the first set numbers seem to bode very well for both. It was very tight, particularly look at Madison Keys on her first serve, winning all but one point, but then falling off mightily on her second offering and three double faults was her undoing back to back when she was broken in game eight. Just uh, the display we just saw in the first set is why Serena is so good because Madison Keys came at her with everything early, but Madison also doesn't have the experience that Serena Williams does in the biggest of moments and she kept the serving stats up. She played great in her own service games and she waited literally for the mistakes to come and double faults from Madison Keys back to back were really the undoing of the young American in that first set. Had an absolutely spectacular day here. Again in New York we've had the most amazing weather. The first week was filled with heat and now the last couple of days have been beautiful. That's the forehand cross court that Serena hit to set up set point. And it's exactly the shot that Madison Keys needs to learn when she's on the run. Has chosen to go down the line on too many occasions on big points. Mis Time. And making mistakes and errors on those shots. Well, a roar for both women taking the court once again, but also for the great historian of the game. On the big screen, Bud Collins being recognized, writer for the Boston Herald. The second segment, Keys to Serve. One of the all-time journalists to cover this sport, and he was recognized. The media center was dedicated in his honor today. Set number two begins with Madison Keys in the line, and she starts off perfectly, slides her second ace of the day past Serena. There's Bud Collins. He once ran for mayor of Boston back in 1967. The following year, local CBS network here in the United States took him on as a tennis commentator. Next Since then, he's written just about everything there is to know about the sport of tennis. What a great man. Truly great man. The media center downstairs here inside Arthur Ashe Stadium will forevermore be known as Bud Collins Media Room. Worthy really tribute to him. Oh, the linesman's called this in. That is close. I thought it looked out, but uh, the chase review will reveal itself. Nope, on the line. 
15 He says two challenges ready. Next, first serve. An aspect of Madison Key's game that has shored up considerably is finding angles. This, this position, instead of just trying to blast through the court or go up the line, finds her way to just her eighth winner. Against seven unforced errors. But an attacking Serena Williams, and it's Key who hears the footsteps and rushes her shot. And the difference is Williams's willingness to move forward after the second, on the second serve from her opponent, and has put pressure on Keys. Hence the couple of double faults that really cost Keys in the first set. Just. remember that Serena Williams has grown up with playing and practicing with one of the biggest servers in the game in Venus Williams. So she's used to a big serve coming her way. I'll have an impact on your return game. He just finds the line. In fact, Serena seems to differ. Serena doesn't usually challenge unless she feels you're right, but I think this might be one that she's wrong on. She seems resigned to it already with the wave of her hands, and all right, well, maybe I was wrong. I've already issued the challenge, so go ahead and play. Jules Williams has two challenges in it. Game peace. A couple of well struck balls, one saved a break point, another in an extended rally, and then she picks up her fourth First ace. Game. And it's Keys innocent. puts herself to the lead in set two. Well, things moving on along very rapidly. We've already played 10 games. We, we've witnessed 10 games played in only 34 minutes, and that's something to do with how both of these players, with the power that they bring, we're not going to be expecting long rallies between these two. Uh, no. I mean, it's <laughs> doubtful we're going to get a rally over 10 shots just because they both want to get after the, the shot, hit some winners. The difference for me in Keep this match distance. so far, Thank you. and maybe through the match, is Serena's willingness to run more balls down and make more balls. Madison has to dig in when she's on the move. Fifth inning. And Serena's serving today has been spectacular. 116 miles per hour to pick up ace number three. I should go ahead and make that four now. 13 of 17 on her first serve and eight of 10 on her second to bolster Renee's statement on how impeccable she's been.
of the things that I, I'd like you to keep an eye on is how Serena paces herself in between the points. Everything's so methodical. It's usually at the same pace, whether it's serving or returning. And one of the things younger players tend to do is rush, even in between points. And you see that from Madison just a tad in this match. Oh. rush in between 14, points 15. you tend to rush in points as well you're not in your same rhythm and you see Serena it's just everything so controlled as emotional as she is she makes sure that she doesn't change that aspect Daniel Williams matches her fastest serve of the night night it's right in the middle One of the day. Away. It's our lights Seven out seconds. for many. But Madison Key is trying to hang tough here as ace number five <laughs> skips past. Williams on her game. The serve numbers are staggering. 24 out of 31. Continues to motor through as we get to one all. Fifth inning. Serena Williams, this fitness trainer. Hitting partner, Rory. 15 up. Just the muscling the right near side line, the ball is called in. A return and Keys wants to see the chase review, feels it missed the mark. And early trouble for a second straight service game for Madison. 15, 13. He says one challenge should remain. Uh, Williams' productivity 15, has been 40. spectacular. We already talked about her service prowess, but she's also produced 13 winners against just five errors. More open court straight through and break point. Broke keys in the eighth game of the opening set. That was the difference. Wow. Just three of six on second serves, but what a big time to dial up an ace facing break point. It's not out of trouble yet. Forced error there on break point, and now you see how Madison walks very quickly to the line, and that's her natural instinct. But maybe through the years, that will start to slow down, become more methodical. Advantage, case. Young players tend to, because they're younger, they're so full and hyper and. I, I think that that will be an area that will, if you look 10 years from now, will be very different. Both from an energy preservation sense, but also just to keep focus and allow moments to just calm down a bit. Yeah. We'll have to keep an eye on that for sure as Key's career unfolds. Williams blasting another return winner. Juice. Continues to apply the pressure. Has had break points in both service games. For Madison Keys in this set. 
moment frozen in time. Show the positioning and readiness of Serena. Think about it. Feeling the weight of the Jeez. moment and the pressure coming from Williams. It's put Keys in trouble and difficult positions. But what poise to step up. Two of the three break points she saved in this game have been via aces. That's the one. Well, we've seen Serena Advantage. Williams do the splits Williams. on court. But for me, that's the shot that Madison needs to go back cross court on. Yeah. Trying to go for the clean winner. Hey, Serena, you're not the only one that can do the splits. <laughs> I'm flexible too. So she's flexible enough to get out of another jam. Oh! And juice. And a sigh of relief for the Keys camp. Just some fabulous serving and advantage, Keith. Lisa Raymond, Lindsay Davenport, just to, oh, doubles partners as well, <laughs> working together to try and get Madison through matches like this now. I want to make Davenport and Raymond Keith. feel pretty good about things. More importantly, Keys able to save four break points. Puts herself to the lead. He leads by two games to one. Second set. First set, Williams. Time. Well, we expected quick points, short rallies. 76 points between these two. And 60 of those have been three shots or left, less. Going through 45 minutes, just motoring along in the round of 16. Serena Williams serving down no, one, two. Already is set to the good. Not a lot of surprise that this match is moving it along at such a rapid rate. Particularly the opening set, which took Serena 27 minutes to secure.
Stiftene. You know, so much of being great is also the attitude, and Serena just has that, just such dogged determination not to lose. And can Madison Keys find that personality? Certainly. Madison, a lot different off of the court. Different personality to Serena. Serena just has that refusal to lose attitude. Called long off the backhand of Williams. Yeah, she's been able to fight through. You don't win 31 consecutive matches at majors, be able to hold all four titles at once without being able to work yourself out of some jams and have a belief in yourself, a will to win. Net for serve. Just to further your point, Renee, of course, a 51 and 2 record this year, but when she's been in troublesome spots, 18 times she's gone to a third set, producing 17 victories. This hasn't just been a walk in the park through 2015, just pushing opponents aside at every step. She's earned it, sometimes the hard way. Serve came in at 88 miles per hour, and I dare say the return was a whole lot faster. Well, this is the problem for Serena. If the serve gets tight, Madison, truly the biggest hitter in the women's game. She will take advantage of anything short. Serena must continue to keep the first serve percentage high. And she continues to motor through her service games again, Game. continuing Williams. on. At this point, has not faced a single break point and no threat. Two games means good success Top as she picks up seven. her second game. Well, don't forget to go to usopen.org. Let us know where you're watching and ever, wherever you are in the world. You can put hashtag usopenworld and say your name, where you're watching, who you like in the match, who you like in the tournament. You're welcome to join the conversation at usopen.org. Or at US Open, the Twitter handle for September. the final major of each year. Santilla. Controlling yourself a little more now, sort of Full calm time. down. Understands the importance so much. With Serena serving as well as she is today, she cannot afford to lose a service game. Keys of the match comes at an important time. 
She had faced break points in each of her previous service Keys games in this set. Games Perfect two, in game five. Set. First set, Williams. Time. Serena Williams trying to continue her dominant sway over younger Americans as she has become the standard bear for American tennis. 32 and 1 in her career against those who are from her native country that are younger than her in age, and Madison Keys at 20 would qualify in that category. The only loss coming two years ago in Melbourne. In the quarterfinals of the Australian Open against Sloan Stevens. On an attempt there from Keys to roll the backhand, consistently always trying to work on her having a bit more spin on that backhand side. And that one flew way long. Fortuna. Ne. Fosse. In the corner, 14, 15. it did indeed, and that spoils the run of nine straight whole service points won by the combined service games of Keys and Williams. And this just finds its way. Wow, Possibly the best point we've seen from Madison Keys, just refusing to make the error, but cannot help herself. Has to pull the trigger with that one down the line, and this time it paid off. Boy, that's some power. Second save. Williams, Williams gets her 
Center hold three all. Almost taken to Deuce for the first time as Keys put together a couple of nice points. Three games just clobbering. Second set. That backhand down the line, but Williams says, nope, no threat yet. Eight straight holds. Already survived five break points. You get the sense this is a crucial game once for once more for Madison. Love it. Serena enjoyed it. As the world number one says, nice shot. Well, this is where you just have to accept as a player like Serena, who's so experienced, this is just too good. It's over the high part of the net. Again, the risk from Keys to go down the line. Sometimes it pays off. But Kevin, Fitting. the difference is Fitting. you cannot allow yourself to think that that's the way to go. Of course you hit a winner down the line every now and again. You have to force yourself and just still trying to go cross court on the bigger points. I'll just reiterate the danger in, in taking that ball down the line too often. Well, you're hitting over the high part of the net. You're also opening the court up. Let's take a look here. I mean, Madison's a long way off the court. If she hits this down the line, doesn't hit a winner, she's gone. Fourth of the match. Cannot allow to have great players. You just cannot allow them back in a, a game. You have to close the door when it's available to you, especially today. And what you're saying goes back specifically three points to go. At least give yourself a chance. The double fault started this little trickle. Things have gotten away from Keys. She had the upper hand. And has led throughout this set, but facing break point for the sixth time. And Williams has her lead. He's offered the gift. Serena gladly accepted. Williams hits by four games to three, second side. And by one set seven.
time. You can't offer any sort of opening if you have Serena Williams down for the moment. Make the most of it. Don't offer a double fault on game point because Serena sees an opening and she will just burst on in. That's exactly what happened in game seven. A break gives her the lead, already up a set. Madison Keys in dire trouble. She has to find a way to her first break Shift point in. of the match against the biggest serve in women's tennis. It's a difficult prospect. Certainly. You just knew when Serena stepped out here today, the serving was on, her focus was different. She knew that she could not allow herself to serve badly or have a bad attitude today because Madison Keys is so dangerous. The flip side is that Madison has come out and showed some of the youth and that will come and her, she will improve. There's no question with experience. Yeah, and it's just those little things. Sometimes in the early rounds against other players' opponents, you can get away with a couple of missteps, some errors, lack of focus for even a moment. You can't against the best in the world. And that's something that Lindsay, I, I know, is emphasizing. 16 unforced errors. the one if you're 14, Serena you just tick off okay that's one for the for the game but how many times can you Madison Keys hit this shot against me yeah she knows it's going to take special shots like that to win that's just too good you let it go and you move on if you're Serena Williams you see the nod of the head okay you got me once game Williams half a dozen aces seals Game five, Williams and Williams now won game away seconds. from advancing to the quarterfinals. And Booker spot opposite older sister Venus Williams. Venus victorious earlier today in 50 minutes, 6-2, 6-1 in her victory as she got past the qualifier from Estonia, Kontavit. Venus, the oldest player in the women's draw, playing in her 17th U.S. Open, looked terrific today. 15. For Keys, it's now or never. Net for South. Third to left. Serena is just to me today very different in all aspects of her body language. Completely and utterly dialed in to this match. Couldn't agree more and I think we talked about it at the outset of the tournament we were leading into those first few days. If you're going to get Serena get her early both in this tournament for Madison Keys. It had to come early in this match. Problem for Madison is she did come out swinging big, 
That's Sorokina. Tail. Just had the blinders on. Her court. Keys can only offer the smile as the six time champion arrives to match point. 13 14. Perhaps a little home court advantage for the 21 time major champion. She looks to take one more big step towards her goal. Her pursuit of a seventh U.S. Open title and more importantly the 2015 Grand Slam still intact. Serena Williams triumphs in an hour and eight minutes with a straight sets victory over fellow American Madison Keys. Well, I tell you what, Kevin, this was a display of the world number one, the 20 time 21 time Grand Slam champion. She knew what to expect from Keys today. Power, big serving, but she withstood early in both sets. Some great serving from this young lady when she learns to play the big matches a little better and hit the ball literally in the court and make better choices with shots. There's no doubt in my mind she can win a Grand Slam. 14 and four at majors this year and career bests at all four, including reaching the quarterfinals of Wimbledon, semifinals of the Australian Open. Round of 16 at the US Open, but she came up against the juggernaut that is Serena Williams. And I think we got to go back to it one more time. Serena Williams focus the best that we have seen it through these first seven days. And you think about what Madison Keys on screen. She started playing tennis because she saw Venus Williams on the TV playing at Wimbledon and liked the dress. And now is one of the great players in the world. And the fact that she just lost to Serena, who now plays her big sister Venus in the quarters of the US Open. What an unbelievable, I'm sorry, but it is one of the most amazing stories in sports history with the Williams sisters. Serena's streaks continue. 32-0 at Grand Slams, 25-0 here at the US Open. Let's hear from the winner. Serena, congratulations. Terrific performance. After a couple slow starts in your two previous matches, how important was it for you to get a quick start like you did today? Um, it was really important playing Madison. She's such a good player. She's such a powerful player, and she's a, she knows what to do, and she knows how to win big matches. So um, my only chance was to start out fast. It looked like in the beginning it was a serving contest. You guys were matching each other shot for shot on serve. What made the difference when you finally were able to get that break at three all? Um, I don't know. I just stayed in there and did the best I could. I didn't really feel any pressure. I just thought, Serena, this is a great moment. Have fun. And then I relaxed, and then I was able to just get a few lucky shots, and I got the break. You've been working a lot on your serve on the practice court. After the last match, you said it's almost there. Is it there? Yeah, it's much better today. I'm so proud that um, I was able to serve a lot better. Obviously, I had to because I was playing a, uh, Madison as a great serve, so I know I wouldn't have too many opportunities to break. So I was like, Serena, it's now or never. You got to get that serve together. And Serena, as you continue this quest for a historic moment, how has the pressure changed with each match that you've played? I don't feel any pressure. It's, you know, I wanted that Serena Slam winning four in a row at Wimbledon was amazing. Um, so, um, and now I have a chance to go for it here, a, a five in a row actually, but just in front of this New York crowd is great. So you guys are really pushing me along. Um, but, and it makes me want to perform better and do better for every, every time I step out here on the court. Well, next match. You play someone I think you know pretty well. Yeah. Your sister. You've been playing with her since you were kids. 
practicing with her, competing against her. You played her four times at the U.S. Open. How has it changed? What's different about the matchups now? Um, the only difference is we're a lot older. <laughs> um, no, she's playing great. She had an incredible. I barely had time to get ready for my match today because she played so fast. I was like, oh my gosh. I, I was actually hoping she'd lose a few games <laughs> for the first time. But um, yeah, so I have to really be ready for that. I, I have to play like I did or better today. Um, to, but at least one of us will be a, Wimble a Williams will be in the semis, so that's good. I think the crowd likes that. And finally, normally you go practice when you don't feel 100%. You played pretty well. Will you still go practice? No, not today. I, I'm going to take the rest of the day off and relax and, uh, you know, just enjoy it. All right. Terrific performance, Serena. Best of luck. Thank you, guys. Love you.